oddly enough, what people don't realize is is that the alcohol takes this edge off that you know and without the alcohol I just start eating a lot more Xanax well, let's go back to the beginning I mean, how many pills are you supposed to take a day in the morning I, I'm supposed to take my blood pressure medicine my vitamin my uh, Alprazolam which is basically Xanax I take five milligrams of that in the morning. Uh, and that's about it in the morning. And that's what I'm supposed to take in the morning. You know, and I've been taking... My Alprazolam is what is fucking me up. Because that, it, it's a, uh, it's, it's an antidepressant. Yeah, how's it fucking you up? Because it's an antidepressant. So I get depressed, which gives you suicidal tendencies. So to, to, to basically balance that out, I use the Xanax, which I'm not supposed to do because Xanax is a very addictive drug. So wait a minute, so you're out of your alazazepam? Alprozolam. Alprozolam, you're out of it. Out of it. You're out of your trazodone. Out of my trazodone. Trazodone is, is sleep? my sleep stuff. So now the less sleep you so, get. So you ate you ate eight Xanax today, are you telling me? Yeah. Eight. Eight. And you're supposed so to far. Uh three. And so what are you having? Suicidal thoughts? Not right now I'm not. But were you? Yeah. What kind of thoughts are you? You know, it's kind of weird to explain. Because it's not like you're thinking about shooting yourself in the head. It's just like you, you kinda like get like really fucked up with your situation and this is a great situation so imagine getting fucked up over this situation I can imagine it I've been here for no, you know I mean that, that's a, <laughs> but I know that, you know that's a whole nother story no but you know. what you feel like killing you like, like I'm trying to understand yeah you, you feel like just like checking out you know, and saying fuck it you know because I'm worried uh, okay um, if I have my right medication I don't worry about selling stuff Right now, I'm terrified that I'm not going to sell anything. And I'm going to go back holding my dick in my fucking hands. You know, it, 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 it works on you that way. Your okay. mind. So, so, I mean, when I, when I tell you that you're going to sell, you don't believe and, me? No, I believe it. I mean, and I know. It. No, there's no doubt about it. I know I'm going to sell some of my shit. But when you don't have the right medication, your mind doesn't play normal. You know what I'm saying? That's what that medication does. It makes your mind work normal. So you're able to they don't give me nine fucking medications because I'm a normal person. And when I don't have my medication... But what nine medicines? When you really talk about it, you're only missing one. No, I'm missing three. What three? I'm missing my trazodone. I'm missing my alprazolam. And I'm missing my atenolol. What's that for? The atenolol is what keeps me hmm. mellow during the day. So you're missing three medicines. Why did you come up here with not enough medicine? Because the VA has a certain um, schedule where they give you so much medication. And if they didn't send it to Mississippi, I would have my medication. But remember the, the, the call the other day I got from the VA? That's what they were asking me. They say, where are you? Because we just sent your medication to Mississippi and it came back. All right? So now it's back in, in Tennessee. That's where my medication comes from. It's a place in Tennessee. So now I had to go back to Tennessee. Now I gave them this address. I'm not going to see that medication for another four or five days. And I know it. Why can't they overnight it? Is it someone at your house or your daughter? It didn't go to them. It goes to the hospital, the doctor? No, no, it went to Josh's house. Well, can't he overnight it? No, because it, it, my mailbox was different than his mailbox. And he doesn't have a key for your? No, I mean, he doesn't check my mail. Well, could, okay. And it wasn't even supposed to go there. It was supposed to go to Little Rock. The thing is, Dom, is that, you know, 
You shouldn't be taking eight fucking Xanax. Russ, don't tell me that. Because I know that. You don't have to tell me that. Well, you know. I have to tell you that because it just seems like you're doing it anyway. Because it's the only thing that keeps me, like, halfway fucking normal. It's halfway like, normal. It seems to me it's making you nutty. Making you edgy, angry, aggravated. No, I'm not angry. Edgy. Kind of like, in like, kind of... Well, that's basically what what it's supposed to do, is and take off the edge. And I know if I edge. get some booze for you, you're just going to get it. Well, you know. You don't want to get like that, do you? You know, is that what you want? Because I have a feeling that's what you want. No. Maybe a little wine or something, but nothing to, you know. And, you know, it don't matter to me no more, man. I just really want you to feel don't. better. I don't want you to feel suicidal. I'm being serious. But I also don't want you to be like, you know, I don't know, what can I do to help you, man? I mean, honestly. There's really nothing to help. You know, it's like I said, nobody lives in here but me. I know, but you, you and know. you don't know the fucking demons that are in here. I do. You talk to me about them sometimes, and sometimes you don't. Yeah. But it seems like you're holding you're holding stuff in right now. You're like, I am. You're bugging out. I'm not bugging out. You are inside. Inside. And I can it's, see. It. Yeah. I mean, if, if if anybody knows you, is it me? You know me better than anybody. So if I know you, you know that, me better than my kids. So if I know you that well, I can tell something's really bothering you. Yeah. But I would love to see you talk about it rather than. Pop eight Xanax and just still be really up. Yeah, but I mean, talking about it does no good. Why? You didn't talk about it today at all. I mean, what is it? Because it doesn't do no good to talk about it. Oh, no, shit. Come on. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it, does. it doesn't. It yeah. does. I've seen you talk about it and I've seen you feel better from it. Yeah, it's just something that just. It fesses in your mind, man. It's, it's like. So what is it? It's just sales that's, that you worried about? It's money? Of course, that's one thing, but, and it's just, I'm having a really, I'm really thinking a lot about Vietnam right now, which, I don't know if it was that painting, and I'm thinking of doing another Vietnam painting, like that patchwork we're talking about on that black thing, I'm thinking about trying another one and doing it in patchwork, you know and fuck the women and all of that, but this whole experience to me, is as beautiful as it is, it's been really tough on me, it has, it really has, you know, and it's, it boils down to basically, I don't, I don't have my right meds, I don't have my meds. I know, and I'll be honest with you, man, I really, really wish... Because I've lived with you before, and I know how you get when you don't have your meds, and I wish you would fucking talk to me about this sooner, because I could have done something about it. Yes, I can. I mean, we could have done something about it, bro. So now, I'll try to do something about it, because I don't want to wait another five days and have you be, like, in this state of mind all the way through till next week. But I'm, I'm doing what I gotta do. You know, having it's these, just having that these inside, you know, you know what it's like? It's, it's like kind of inside, if you can imagine your bones constantly rattling, that's what it is. Inside, your bones are just rattling. That's what the alcohol takes away. As stupid as I get, you know, it takes that away. Because it numbs you, you know. Basically, that's what the medicine does. It numbs you, you know. So, you know, what, what can I do? What, what the hell can I do? I'll, I'll get you, you. I'll get you. I'll get some vodka tonight. No, I don't want vodka. What do you want? No vodka. What do you want? If we can get a little bottle of wine or something like that, just I don't want to do none of the hard shit. Well, all right, whatever you want. I mean, I don't want I you really to have don't. vodka. I'm trying to help you. What do you? Do? You know, it's you just... More white wine. That's going to help you, white wine? Yeah. It, it has the... It, it, last night, we had a great time. The white wine worked great. You well, know. White wine on top of a Xanax should kick it in pretty nice. Well, no, yesterday I didn't do eight. Yesterday I did 14. And... Oh, come on. I did 14 yesterday. 
I did five when I woke up. Because when I woke up yesterday, and you know me, I get up on time. When I woke up yesterday, I woke up like this. Like, shaken. Well, you know, uh, I, had, I, I mean, unfortunately, you got, no, honestly, though, you, you mean, you got to fucking communicate with me, man. We've done over this a million times. I know, man, but, you know, a lot of times, like, I hold shit in because it's my problem. It ain't nobody else's fucking it, problem. It is my problem, too, because, you know, I... I I'm doing what I gotta I do. I know you well enough to be affected by when you're all fucked up, you know, and... And truthfully, everybody here, because we're living together, I mean, when you get in these weird ways and it's due to medication, it does affect everybody. And it affects me because I can see that you're, something's, you know, fucking with you. And you, you get, you know, less, it's, it's harder to be around you because you're like. But I haven't been like, you know, outrageous or nothing. I've just been like bad. living in my own little feel, world. I know, man. but I feel bad for you when you're in your own world. Yeah, but that's where I live. You know, I know man. Not truly, actually, that, let me take that back. It's not where you live. It's where you live when you don't have your medicine, but when you have your medicine, you live with us, yeah. and you're, you're you're gregarious, and you're just like a regular guy. It's when you don't have you your. Know, what 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 the VA psychiatrists have always told me. They said, you know, because I've asked them a hundred times. I said, you know, when I'm low on my meds, why do I wake up that way? And they said because you know you don't remember it, but when you don't have your meds. You're having dreams all night about Vietnam. You're not going to remember it in the morning. But that's what those medications do. They take that away. You know. All right. Well, let's stop filming now. I think we got to go. Yeah.